it's on a slope. I don't know whether your TGE is going to hack it. Okay, it'll take up to hey, 15 Bob, degrees. This is a, uh, well, it is going to have it. It's a coarsely vesicular crystalline rock. Uh, finely crystalline. Uh, looks like a uh, probably an orthocytic uh, gabbro. Trying to see the zap bits for glass color. I don't have a good one yet. Hey Bob, do you want both the recorder and the uh, and the uh, other switch off? Roger, both of those off and. Uh, and Oh, man. Is it hard to get around here? Bob, it looks like uh, the glass is fairly light colored. It's not white. Well, no, it's black. It's a, it's an orthocytic gabbro rather than gabbroic and orthocyte, I think. Yeah, that's black glass in the pits. Okay, and Dean, did you have to notice the temperature like on the step when you dusted it? I didn't dust it yet. Copy that. Bob, some of the vesicles are, uh, they're flattened. All of them are flattened. There's a strong uh, foliation of vesicles in the rock. Uh, most of them are flattened, uh, and they are up to... Uh, 15 or 20 centimeters in diameter and about uh, 5 to 6 centimeters thick or wide. Outstanding. And there's some beautiful north overhangs all around the block. Well, <laughs> on the north side of the block. Okay, that's the best place to have north overhang, and I guess that means... Uh, one of you guys might grab the SEC, the small can, before you leave the rover. Okay, Bob, it's going to take me a while to dust, I'll tell you. Okay, hard, hard to get around here. Yeah, Roger Bob, on that. Uh, now let's get it straight. You, let's get it straight. You want the uh, north uh, overhang sample in the SEC, or the short can? Miracle of miracles, they don't want the short can. I'm not sure I understand that, Jack, but they don't want the short can here, they say. I guess they're looking for okay, volcanics we'll put today. In bags. They're looking oh, for man. volcanics today, Jack. Oh, they are, huh? We That's found right. those yesterday. Well, they're open again at Station 9. This is, uh... Now, that uh, foliation I mentioned does not go all the way through the rock. There are variations in texture. Uh, one zone was strongly foliated. There's another. It almost looks like a uh, large, in it is, a large inclusion of non-vesicular rock uh, within the vesicular rock. There may be uh, some uh, autobrecciation involved in the formation of this thing. It really uh, looks uh, mineralogically or uh, uh, like the uh, light-colored samples from the South Massif. But I, I tell you, that's only uh, because it's light-colored, and I, uh, I can't give you any more than that right now until we get a fresh surface. 110 degrees on a step, and you want to tape uh, the cover closed, right? Uh, cover open, please. Cover open, uh, both off. Okay. Covers open. Okay, and did you get the battery? Oh my the golly. LRV battery covers open. We didn't copy that, Gene. No, I didn't copy that you wanted them open. I just got 107. I was about to ask you that. Okay, we'd like them open. And Jack, while I'm interrupting everybody oh, here, how hey. about a frame count if convenient? Oh, shoot, Bob, I gave you one to rock. It's uh, it's now 6-8. Uh, okay, copy that. Dad, I never... 
You can't believe how tough it is getting around this river on this slope. I think I'll, uh... Man, that's, I think, I think we're, we're probably pitch 20 and roll 20. I think I'll get over here and get a pan while we're waiting for sample. Oh, I gotta dust those radiators. I can't leave them like that. I tell you, this is not a very good place to dust them, though. Let me try one time. Oh, boy. Be careful, Gino. Need some help? Help. I need a little finesse, though. to reach over here and do this on level ground. I don't know if I can do that without falling on the batteries. Well, I found a place to stand so I can take a pan. Bob, I'm going to have to give you a good battery uh, brushing at the next uh, side. I can't get, uh, I get half of them, but I can't get, can't get the other half. It's too slopey. Okay, we copy that. But the covers are open. What are you working on, Jack? I'm taking a pan. Very good. I'm coming right now. I bet you a dollar to donut that you don't get a TGE reading. Yeah, Gene, if you're uh, if it's easy enough to take it off, why don't you take it off the uh, rover and we'll try and try and level it and the stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not sure there's any place to to put it on the ground level. No. You have to dig a place. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, it's coming off. <laughs> well, I'll set it right up here. It's gonna fall down a hill. You better stomp off a good place. Yeah. Get on the, I really ought to get on the sun side. 
Let me get that flap right there, though, to start with. I get that one off. Uh, <laughs> there's no. Let's go over on the sun side because we can't really photograph it. Okay. I got to get out of here first. <laughs> Let's go through the split. Well, okay. Be careful, though. Why don't we sample the split first? So we don't uh, look at that overhang, man. I tell you, if you get your shovel down there, you'd have a fun. Yeah, let's let's sample in the split first, so that we uh, don't get it too messed up. Then we can sample some of this stuff. Uh, not, we want this overhang over here, you know, the north facing one, right here. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get sneak by over there. Whoops! Don't shuffle too much dirt in there. Okay. You buy me so I can sit the gnomon down? Not quite. I don't think I can make it without hitting you. I can't. Okay. I'll try it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let me set the gnomon down. Set it down just outside the shadow there. Right, whoa, right there. That's good. There's still some clean ground there. Okay. Okay. I get back far enough to take these pictures. I'm gonna go get a stereo pan around a corner anyway. Let's see if I can't start here with about five, six. I'm so close. Hey, I'll get a. I must have a bowl. I'll get it. Hey, let me. I'm gonna go around. A, I got it now. Okay, you got a bag. All set. Okay, I'm gonna get the shadowed material. That's in bag 312, Bob. Copy 312. And it's it's from uh, I think you saw where I got it. It's about a half a meter back of the uh, limit of the overhang. Put, put it down. Put it down. Put okay. It down. Can you reach it? I will in a minute. You can turn a little bit towards me. Okay, 312. And the soil uh, outside the uh, overhang will be next. Okay, go get it. And the first one is uh, from the upper two centimeters. Back 313. Copy 313. And the second one is from uh, probably a down from two centimeters down to about uh, eight. Copy that. Bob, it looks like uh, the fragment just to the uh, uh, the boulder just to the uh, south of us has some uh, inclusions in it, light colored inclusions. Back 472 on that. Copy 472 on that. You mean the south half of the uh, split boulder? Yeah. I haven't seen inclusions in the other half. Okay. Okay, now we need boulder stuff. You happy with that, Houston? Let's get uh, you got your hammer. Yeah, we're, we're happy, happy with that for an east west split. That's a little hard, huh? I think uh, I gotta find a corner I can get at. Yeah. Uh, let me get an after picture down in this hole. Oh, that's right. You almost stepped on the, I forgot the after too. Hey, there are chips up here on top. Also, that's been spalled off. Yeah, we can get some of those. Looks but, like uh, someone's been chipping up there. That's yeah, it looks like there's been a geologist here before us. Uh, Let me uh, get the gnome and I think I can get some of these pieces over here. I want to get that 90 degree 
angular flight line around this boulder, too. Bob, the more I look at this thing, you know, here's the piece that fell off. Here's the piece that was knocked off up there. Yeah. Look at that. Well, I'll bring a big piece of that on. That's obvious. This is obvious. How about this one up here? Take your picture. I think we can just lift that off. See that? Yeah, bye. I better get... I'll get, a, I'll get a locator from here. Okay. I try to get my down sun, but I'm free to... You may be down sun if you yeah. do. We'll get some. You get it? Yeah, will I come off? Let's see. Yeah. yeah, just throw it in my bag. It's uh, broken, but it's in place. That's a nice big piece, too. That's about the size of a... Why don't you put it in mine? I can't get it to you. Okay. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Don't move. Okay, Bob, uh, there's a big spall lying on the ground here that uh, has been knocked off up there from right on top of the boulder. And I tell you, the more I look at this, the south half of this boulder, the more heterogeneous in texture it looks. Uh, it looks as if it may be uh, either a recrystallized uh, breccia of some kind, or you had a uh, uh, Jeboric and site uh, magma catch up an awful lot of inclusions. I guess I prefer the latter explanation because of the extreme vesicularity of the rock. Okay, very interesting. Now, uh, some of the, a few of the inclusions are, uh, well, they're all sub-rounded to rounded, and a few, a few of them are very light colored. I'm going to, uh, I'm coming, get, I'm coming around a corner with a Are you going to do it down? Okay. Yeah, I got Well, you know, I ought to get one shot back here with a black and white. I'll get this half black and white. Okay. If we could get... I think we ought to pick up a piece of that spall there by the... I can break it off. No, I can break it off. Well, well the top, there's yeah. one right by the gnomon there we can just pick up. It's it's a finer green vesicular rock. And wait, we're on... Oh, 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 oh. I thought I was going to get this half. Okay. I don't care. I started down, Jack. Well, they like to have some of it black and white, you know. I'll get that rock. I forgot to look at the objectives of the station. I hope we're meeting them. Well, I, I, we want to get 500 to that boulder track. I know I want to get that. Okay, a piece of that spall rock. Well, we're sitting by the Norman. Ooh, watch out, Norman. <laughs> How about that? Is in, uh... Bag, uh, 535. They got one in there, Ari. Yeah. Okay, we copy that one, Jack. You won't be able to reach... You won't be able to reach my bag, Jack. No, you can put it in mine. Yeah, that's a hard rock. You might be. 
be able to do it. I can't. I can't get down there. Okay. We need some of the soil outside the channel here. Yep. How about over where your bag went? Let's, uh, let's move around here to... I think there's some... Oops. Get on this slope over here. Okay. Okay. How about out over in here? Do we supposed to get a... Where are we here? I don't know, I'd like to get... Now, when you're faced uphill, your camera faces down. Okay, we want to get a rake on the rim of that little crater down there, I guess. Okay, uh, and, 17, uh, Roger, you were asking about objectives. Okay. Of course, the primary objective is, doc is documented samples of the blocks. And uh, then also we'd like to get some of the, uh, the rake and soil sample out in the uh, surface, namely the cra rim crater there, if that's uh, available. And one of the things, of course, we're looking for is a variety of rocks here. If there's more than just the one boulder, you can sample the boulder for a while, but we'd be interested in seeing if there's more than just the uh, single type of rock. Uh, probably also samples from both sides, okay. both halves of the rock. What we said this morning in terms of uh, combining stations six and seven to an hour and 20 Come on minutes. Up here, Gino. Okay. You can. And so it's sort of your option as to how much time you spend here and how much you go on to Station 7 and spend. Uh, if you feel it's worthwhile, we could spend essentially all that hour and 20 minutes at this station. But uh, if, it wa if we did that, we'd like to get a fair variety of blocks okay. if they're available. Okay. Gino, you know, we can sample some of the uh, light color groups. Matter of fact, this block looks different. We had, well, so does that gray one. That's why I've been photographing it. Uh, uh, see, I, and what it is, I think... It's a blue-gray. It's, it's a big blue-gray rock. Itself is uh, crystalline, I believe. The inclusions are much more sharply defined, and it's non-vesicular, and it's included, or at least it's in contact with, the very vesicular uh, uh, North City Cabro. Right up there. See yeah. that? Yeah, the whole big one. I just uh, Did you get some pictures of it? Because I, I boxed around here, I took okay. pictures of it. Look, we can get some of that light-colored stuff in there, along with the blue-gray. We've got to get as big a piece of that inclusion as we can. There's, you see it up in there? Yep. I think we're out of line of sight with them. We're behind yeah. a boulder. Sorry about that. But now we, we, can, we can hear you loud and clear. We're just watch, looking at okay. rocks right now. Okay, Bob, the, uh, the boulder downslope is uh, more of a light gray vesicular boulder. The one Jack just talked about with some of these, these uh, larger white inclusions is less vesicular, and it's a uh, more of a blue-gray rock. And if I don't fall on my tail here, I'll get... The locator is of Henry. Copy that. Okay, let me try and get up there. Henry, we must be high enough to see some. I haven't even looked back. Let me get a close-up before you start pounding. I might go from this angle, too. Yeah, we're getting 
getting good at that. Yeah. Can't hold that much longer. <sighs> yeah, let me get up on this. Up here. Oh. Why don't we get a, get a bag out? Let me put these in a bag. That's where I'm getting up here so I can... Oh, okay. So I can get my balance. Five, 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 six is one of the light-colored inclusions in the uh, blue-gray rock. It's chips. Chips of it. Okay, copy that. I think we lost that other one. That's good enough. I got it. I know where it is. That's all right. It's not a lot of sample, but it's representative, I think. It looks a lot like that uh, sugary rock uh, I sampled yesterday, doesn't it? Uh, found in the, uh, we sampled in the, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty easy to break up. It's really not very coherent at all. You know, I thought last night, uh, Bob, that I should have used the word aplitic for a texture that we saw in that inclusion yesterday on the South Massif. If I can keep from falling on my tail, can you get a, I want to, maybe a Okay, you're going to get some of that? Yeah, that's a different kind. That's a more beat-up inclusion of some sort. 